Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing my 16 week bump date and I haven't done one of these since 11 weeks. Which is so disappointing to me. I really wanted to try to do them every week so that I could look back on them. But it's just not happening that way. I have been pretty much sick since the last time that I filmed. First I had the flu and then I've had a cold and a cough for like the past 3 weeks, 4 weeks. And it still hasn't completely gone away. So that didn't really work out, but hopefully from here on out it will be smooth and I can be doing these more often because I really, really want to. So there's obviously a lot to cover since it's been so long, so I'm just going to jump right into it. So the size is the size of an avocado this week, which is crazy, getting really big. And I'll read you guys the development for this week. Your baby is continually becoming more active and is and is busy practicing all those movements that its tiny body has already learned to perform. The bones inside your baby's body are hardening and the tiny legs and arms are now completely formed. Even though your baby's eyes are still closed, they are making little movements and even have the ability to sense changes in lights through the eyelids. Your baby's flexible thumbs are now able to grasp, preparing for the day when that tiny hand will wrap around your finger. So a lot has been going on with a baby these past few weeks. Next is symptoms. So they do say that the second trimester is supposed to be like the best trimester and all of your, like some of your symptoms are supposed to go away and stuff like that. But I have felt the opposite. I feel like my symptoms have been getting worse, not better for some of them. But I have not been having any nausea. That completely went away but I am still super tired. I am getting a little bit more energy back, I've noticed, but not much. I've been having lots of aches and pains, my back, my lower back, my butt, my hips, my sides, everywhere hurts. <laughs> my, even underneath my belly has started to really hurt. And so that's not been fun, all of the aches and pains, but that's been about it for symptoms. So my cravings have pretty much been the same, hot, spicy, sour food, which has been pretty much the same throughout my entire pregnancy, and meat and vegetables, which is the same. So basically that's all that I have been wanting, and some aversions, I, for about two weeks a while ago, um, I just could not eat chicken. I didn't want to look at it, I didn't want to see it, it just grossed me out but I am, I'm not having that anymore. That's the only one that I can think of. Mostly it's just, I want something hot and spicy or sour. Mm. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> so, movement. I have not felt any movement yet, I don't think. There have been a few times where I'm like, wait, is that it? But I don't think that I'm feeling it, which I really can't wait to feel it. Sometimes I'll just lay there or lay on the couch and just be like, okay, I'm gonna just feel it or I'm gonna, you know, concentrate really hard and try to feel it. But I just haven't felt it yet, which is only my first pregnancy, so I'm sure that that will come soon, but I cannot wait. That is gonna be the best movement ever. That will make me really, really feel pregnant is when I start feeling the baby. I can't wait for that. Doctor's appointment. So we did have a doctor's appointment at 13 weeks, yeah, I think it was 13 weeks, and basically it was just, um, first of all, I met my new doctor, we graduated from the infertility clinic, and we moved over to the other side, which is like the pregnancy and the actual clinic that I'm going to be going to from now on, so that was really exciting, but my doctor, I really like her so far, she was really, really nice, and she listened to all of my concerns, and really just took a lot of time with me. Basically, the last appointment was they did a pelvic, which I was kind of upset about because I've read a lot about it and it did make me bleed for a little bit. But I get that most doctors, you know, you have to do it and you have to see what's going on. So, and I understand that it's going to be going on a lot, especially towards the end of the pregnancy. They have to see how, how many centimeters you're dilated and stuff like that. So I definitely understand it. I'm just going to have to get used to it, I guess. And they did a breast exam and we basically just talked and... I let her know, you know, she asked me about whether I was planning on breastfeeding or this or that. So we just had a good talk. So that's about it. The one thing that she was concerned with so far is that I had actually lost a few pounds, like I think it was three from my last appointment, which was concerning to her because I was supposed to be gaining and lots of women I know do lose weight in the first trimester or even the second trimester 
and it's not that big of a deal. Every pregnancy is different. The only reason why she was concerned about me is because I am only 100 pounds to begin with, so there's not really much room for me to be losing weight and for it to be healthy. So that's why she was concerned and she's not really, she wasn't really that concerned. She was just like, if you can like gain that back and then a little bit more by the next time that you see me, you know, just don't keep losing weight is basically what she said. I'm just trying to keep an eye on that and that's just what we're gonna do. And I have gained, I think like a pound back. So hopefully she'll be happy with that. <laughs> I have not lost any since then because, which is good because then I'd be below 100, but I haven't gained all of it back yet. And our next doctor's appointment is next week at 17 weeks. It'll be a week from today, actually. And basically, I think that it's just gonna be the same thing, like an overall general visit. And then three weeks after that, on June 9th, we have scheduled our gender ultrasound and our anatomy scan. And I am so excited about that, you have no idea. Me being this patient, me not knowing for this long, it's crazy. I'm learning patience here, guys. Seriously, I'm so excited. I've wanted to know since the second that I found out that I was pregnant. So I'm so excited to know. I just can't wait. So definitely stay tuned for that. So now we're gonna do a belly shot. And you can see how huge my belly has gotten. I will see you guys hopefully next week. Bug me if I don't post anything. I really don't want it to be another five weeks before I do this. That's, that's, that'll be, how far long will be? I'll be like 21 weeks. I better not be that late this time. So you guys bug me and keep on me. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.